even doing those motions and doing those things and being immersed in your spirituality, there can be some times where you're feeling a little mad that you have to go through some things and grow through some things. And it's just something is in your way. Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's your coach, Coach Nyla, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. So for those who know, or those who don't know, it doesn't really matter at this point because I'm going to tell you anyway. You guys know my co-wife, my wonderful co-wife, Coach Fatima. Beautiful, talented, smart, funny, um, has been married to our husband, Coach Nadir, for over 26 years have wonderful children, seven beautiful children, and all that other good stuff. How can one not be jealous of that? Yes, I'm going to talk about that in this video because we get the comment and the questions a lot about how do you handle jealousy? How do you handle jealousy? And we've done videos on it. However, this is just getting a little glimpse of kind of my experience through it because of course you know we're coaches we talk about you know our experiences clients experiences different things like that however when it comes down to it when people think about jealousies they usually think about the initial wife you know and the feelings that they have they usually do it's understandable However, when it comes down to jealousy, jealousy is a natural feeling all around the board. And I know you guys who, who've been with us for a while heard us say this time and time again. It's a natural feeling. So it's not about getting over or getting or stopping your jealousies or getting rid of the jealousies because the jealousies can come. It's about handling it. How are you dealing with it? How are you letting it affect you or infect you? So I was thinking when I'm doing this video, I'm thinking about this song that's just playing in my head uh, from the Human Race Club. Those who know, know, who don't know, hey, don't worry too much about it. But it's a lady by the name of Joy Berry, and she created these books that I kind of grew up on. And there's these videos called um, the Human Race Club. And my children has watched these videos and I don't remember what episode this was on. However, at the end, it was a song called Uncomfortable Feelings. And in the song, it says uncomfortable feelings aren't good or bad. It's how you handle feelings that count. All right. So it's really funny because that's the thing. It's about how you are handling your feelings. It's are you emotionally intelligent enough or emotionally mature enough to handle these uncomfortable feelings? doesn't matter if they exist or not. Now, I guess it does matter if they don't exist because you don't have to worry about them. However, we know that they're going to exist some way, shape, or form. I have an important announcement to make, an exciting announcement to make. It's been my goal for 2022 to be able to serve more people because my one-on-one -on -one coaching is full. So now I'm able to open up my group coaching. So you can be a better you in 2022. I'm so excited about it. And the wait list has been growing day by day by day. So make sure you sign up for the wait list. You want to be a part of this? Sign up for the wait list. Check it out. CoachNyla.com. I'll see you on the other side. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. So when they happen, how do you deal with them? I cannot tell you that. There are not times still to this day, and I've said in a number of videos before, that I don't have a jealous tinge in my body 
you know, about my co-wife. I love her so much. But that doesn't stop me from being jealous of certain things. She has great style. She's beautiful. She's a great coach. Uh, she's been married to Coach Nadir for 26 years plus. Um, they have a long history together. They have seven beautiful children. I mean, I stated at the beginning and the list goes on and on and on and on. If I focus on those things, I can say, well, I don't have this and we don't have that. And <sighs> hmm. how low I feel right now. Mm, how jealous I feel right now. I'm so jelly because I'm focusing on what I don't have or what I didn't do or what I didn't create or what I didn't make and didn't not that this and that. And that don't make, that doesn't make anyone feel good. When you are looking and focusing on lack, when I focus on lack, I feel bad. I'm not handling it beautifully. But see, when I'm feeling that way, and I say if, I say when I'm feeling that way, because the feelings will come. Just because, you know, you it could be anything. It could be I'm having an off day. It could be that I'm stressed out. It could be that I'm on my cycle. It could be any given thing. But Coach Nyla has to come out. And speak to regular Nyla so she can get her stuff together. And usually that's what it is. It's Coach Nyla coming out saying, you are an amazing person. Yes, she is great. She has all these wonderful things that's going on for her. Celebrate those and celebrate you too. You don't have to compare. You're different. And difference, differences are great. My thing is I spend so much, so much time with her with business and we go uh, doing things with the kids and we may go shopping sometimes that I've gotten to know who my co-wife is. I've gotten to know her you know, just as a person. And my thing is I've already seen the greatness and the beauty and all that other stuff before anyway. However, it's something when you get to know a person and you see that human side where you don't compare yourself like, okay, well, she has this and I don't have this. It's like, you know what? This is a good friend. We're doing this together. We're having a good time. We're laughing. We're joking. I mean, of course, you don't focus on that either. Like I think about that, like I don't sit with her and say, hey, we're laughing and joking right now. Hey, we're kicking and cat cat and ha ha right now. No. But I can enjoy the time without thinking about, wow, I like the way she did her hijab today. I wish I did mine like that. Oh, her colors are so cute. I wish I had put, a, oh, I don't have that type of kumar. I wish I, oh man, I don't have that abaya. You know, oh man, you know, what? what is, what's she and, and, and Coach now they're going to do tonight? Oh, what are they going to talk about? Oh, the... The, you know, their their kids are probably doing this together. And it, I mean, no, like seriously, I'm, I'm reaching right now in my head to see like what can people say or what could I say to put myself in a jealous mood or in jealous mode or jealousy mode. And when we are so worried about what another person has and what we lack, that's how that stuff starts to fall into place. When we are not on our personal development, when we are not celebrating ourselves, where we are not celebrating the differences and enjoying the company of others, we start to compare. And then we start to become jealous and insecure and feeling all these negative feelings or uncomfortable feelings that can cause some issues in our lives. So my thing is I celebrate myself. I get into personal development. Oh, and of course I'm heavy in my spirituality. I think that just not, does not need to be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. Because when I'm not, and that's 
I can't even, that's not, that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> However, because I'm like, I pray five times a day. I, you know, read Quran every day, you know, all of that stuff. However, even doing those motions and doing those things and being immersed in your spirituality, there can be some times where you're feeling a little mad that you have to go through some things and grow through some things. And it's just something is in your way. So you got to make sure that you're heavily immersed where it's in your heart, where you know that regardless of how anybody else feels about any given situation, anything that you do, anything that you feel, you know that the one the one being that you can talk to that can understand because they know you better than you is the creator. And just be reminded of that, reminded of that, reminded of that. That's my thing. It's like, okay, I'm feeling this type of way. I'm feeling mad or I'm feeling a little jealous. If I tell this person, they may use this against me. If I tell this person, they may say I'm acting like a victim. If I tell this person, <laughs> they may, you know, tell me to suck it up, buttercup. Or if I tell this person, they may make me feel even worse. But I know that my creator, mm -mm, I know I can go to with my issues, my problems, my anything. So keeping that spirituality tight, being close to that, then you are to anything else in your life. Celebrating you. Knowing how beautiful and great and wonderful you are. Celebrating the similarities, the differences, just the uniqueness that makes you you. And getting heavy in that dog on personal development. <laughs> Please. Serious. Serious. We need to work on us more than we work on anything else. And we want to be outstanding and we want to have outstanding relationships. So, inshallah, God willing, you guys have some great information and some insight from this video. If you made it this far, congratulations. And if you, yeah, if you made it this far, congratulations. Thanks for sticking with me. If you haven't already, make sure you click that like button, subscribe, because over half of our um, viewers have not subscribed to our channel. I have no idea why. It doesn't cost anything. Just click that button or wherever it is over here. Click it. And make sure you put in the comments, co-wife bond, co-wife bond, because that is actually one thing that one, another thing that helps me with just without comparison like that that gets me out of comparison mode is bonding with my co-wife is having some great times whether we're we're chatting you know over the phone whether we are together creating videos or creating content or whether we are out with the family or anything like that that bonding time is just that this bonding time, not comparison time and not putting each other, you know, in comparison mode, like, okay, well, she has this and I don't, or she did this and she laughs like this and maybe I should talk like this and no, nah, none of that. It's that enjoyment. It's that building each other up and just enjoying each other's company. So make sure you are growing intentionally, love me fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every single day if I haven't told you already. And until next time, I will see you soon. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to outstandingpersonalrelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And last but not least, when it comes to coaching 
or counseling if you want to work with us one on one or in group settings. Make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list. So with that being said, GLC. Make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Stone Lake. Peace. Peace.